Anwar Sadat, born on 25th December 1918 in Mount Abu el Khan in Egypt, he was assassinated after he got his Nobel Peace Prize on 6th October 1981 in Cairo, Egypt. Anwar Sadat said there can be hope for a society which acts as one big family, not as many separate ones. Mohammed Anwar Al Sadat was an Egyptian politician who served as the third president of Egypt, third president of Egypt from 15th October 1970 until his assassination by fundamentalist army officers on 6th October 1981. Yes. Anwar Sadat said, just for one piece of land, we shall not break our peace. Shanti is very important. Om Shanti, Shanti. Peace of land. The peace of land belongs to the earth, belongs to the nature. And did the nature put a drawing line? Let us have peace instead of fighting. Anwar Sadat said, there can be hope for a society which acts as one big family, not as many separate ones. So my campaign from the last 201 years is one big family is now proved to a certain extent. Even Anwar Sadat, who was born in 1918, said the same thing. They understood. But their culture and our Indian culture is different. Their culture is a Namas culture, but our Indian culture is early morning, cleaning up the house, the wife and the husband, man and woman together, lights the lamp, their lamp, kattal in the balakina, from darkness to light. That lamp brightens the whole house and kills all the virus, chases all the virus out from the house and then they both together with the children and the family look at the Surya Sun God opening all the windows and doors for the Sun to enter right inside and do the Surya Namaskar to enter into your dead body that and then middle after that or they while doing the Surya Namaskar itself, they sing a song called Bhajan that song is not there in Egypt and was that's very small. Otherwise, what he said was true. Song is very, very important. And people don't sing song just like that. Every bhajan is with the movement. So there is physical exercise. The mind moves. The smile comes out of the body from the face. Such is the purity. And everybody touches the hand. When the ardi is given, the burning fire, the hand goes and touches onto the burning fire. And then they put it inside. There can be hope only for society and for sadhats. There can be hope. There can be hope. There can be truth for a society. There can be God for a society. There can be happiness from a society. There can be laughter for a society. There can be health for a society. Which acts as one big family. Once you are one big family, not as many separate ones. Who said? Anwar Sadat said. And I have been telling this from the last. 201 short discourse. The day you disconnect from your family, the deep intimate relationship with your family, yes, it just acts. You forgot that. You forgot even to penetrate a little bit. You forgot even to research. You forgot even to dissect and to see each part of the body. Just try that one. I've been asking you to try. Just try. Husbands can try on the wife. Wife can try on the husband. Each and every part. Start licking the fingertips. And smell. Kiss every part of the body. It rejuvenates you. It makes you so powerful. <laughs> Suddenly you feel you and your wife became one. You and the nature became one because when you can do that with your family, people, you can do it with the nature, with the pets, and you and the nature becomes one, which 
devil in the world can even attack, which disease can attack. There can be hope only for, there can be hope for a society which has one big family, one big family, the family sits together, eats together, prays together, grows to one big family, the roar, they can hear the roar of a thousand men worry. When everybody together does the Suri Namaskar and the whole body gets rejuvenated, electrified, magnified and the whole family together smiles. And the whole family put both hands together, both hands and say Namaste, that I and you are one. The whole family looks at the Surya and clo joins both the hands and says Namaste, means I and you are one to the nature is one. This is the power of the Indian Namaste. And the whole family together sings a song. Oh, Subramanyam, Subramanyam, Shanmuganada, Subra... Oh, wow, wow, wow. It all creates the body moves and the people claps. Clapping, yes, they claps and they jump and dance. At the same time, the lamp is burning to chase all the evil from the house. There can be hope only for a society which acts as one big family. Then there is no fear whether father comes back with more money or less money because it's all joined together, put it into one plate and then it runs it, yes. Even the father and mother has got no fear at all because every year, every day or every week there is at least one child is born, one lady is getting pregnant and one child starts going to the school, another one child is getting engaged, another one child through it, and you are an ex experienced, passive experience and not in the conscious state, experience in practical sense. The philosophy of the Bhagavad Gita, the Quran and the Bible is right in saying you do not have to open the book. In this is just a beauty. What is the holiest book of the Sufis? There's a thousand pages book. If you open page after page you'll be shocked. What is written in the book? In the book, shocking experience shocks you. What is written in the book? Page after page, nothing is written, empty pages. That is the power of the joint family. There's no judgment thrown. My uncle is uncle, uncle acts like my own father or grandmother, grandfather or my, my friend, my lover, everything. My teacher, my guru, my aunties, my teacher, my guru, my, my sister, my mother, my granny, everybody. They do not know the difference. Yes, I mean, uncle comes, uncle comes with something to eat, everybody shares it, sharing. Come, come, even a small piece, break it into eight, ten pieces, and then fighting and pushing and screaming and running and climbing the tree. And then the godfather sits and says, mm -hmm. Come, every ghost, plow the land. They listen to that one word. And one family has got. Husband and wife will be having six children or twelve children. And minimum there will be in a family there will be six members or twelve members. Six members at least having six members. Six children are thirty-six children. So six into six. You say it is thirty-six. But in the joint family six into six is one. And what can you make them in there? One. Yes. Yes, today morning I was telling, okay, two plus two, go and do, two members plus two members is one, <laughs> go. And they said, two, good, so two plus two is not one. I said, two members and two members and they join together and do the work, it is just one. And that is our mathematics. Other mathematics has divided us into pieces, creating more greed to make as much as possible. As much as possible comes off its own, you don't have to run after, it is excess always, the rainwater. Yes. Each one is an expert, or together is an expert. There is not a single child who goes to the hospital. Hospital is the house. Yes. There is not a single birth takes place in the hospital. Everything happens right in the house. Birth, they do not feel. Delivery is not something painful. It happens of its own. My grandmother was there. She was climbing the train. The baby came, came out. Which baby? 16th baby. She got 16 children. Such is the beauty of that. She was telling so much happiness, love. I don't know when your grandfather is coming. He comes night to o'clock, early morning, four never letting go anywhere. For the amount of enjoyment here, I am running that, I am running that. Look, Anwar Sada said, 
There can be hope for a society which acts as one big family. Not as many separate ones. Yes, that was our Indian joint family which I was screaming. The family which sits together, the deep intimate relation with your wife and the children. You talk and talk, put your hand, open your every hair and then comb the hair, take baths together, eat it together in one plate, yes. Then once the family is strong, you can create the joint family. In this corona, in this COVID time, I was telling that most of them must have understood, most of them must have really got the effect. Most of them called me and told me, Guruji, you shocked me. Yes, first time I'm watching, I'm feeling my wife had research. Yes, feel every part of her body is a goddess. Yes, and wife is also telling, I never knew when the husband started showing some love, I could even research on him. I can do an exploration on him and it was great. I see all seen God. First time I'm seeing love. And I never felt sick when one day in the six months of this corona won't be getting. Otherwise my husband is sick. I'm sick. We're always in the hospital. You changed us. Yes. I'm happy if people keep telling that. Please go back. Yes. The joint family you create sharing. Yes. Don't keep your relatives far away. Relate, relate to that, to your family members. Otherwise, they are called relate to thieves. Relate, thieves becomes relate thieves. They are not robbers. Your mind made them robbers. Come back to the point. Anwar Sadat, who served as the third president of Egypt from 15th October 1970. Until the assassination of fundamentalist army officer 6th October 1981, who got the Nobel Prize prize for creating peace in that area which he himself found out we shouldn't fight for one small piece of land which earth has not drawn any li line that piece of land let us have peace instead of breaking that into pieces said that can be hope for society which acts as one big family not as many separate ones let us be together love together and show together is strength. The family which sits together, each together is the strength of the growth. And there we see scientist after scientist in right inside the house, leaders of the leaders right inside the house. And then we see the guru path, the guru path, the path of the gurus right inside the house. It is an orgasmic experience of the total world under one tree. This is my. 202nd short discussion.